You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. It's, it's amazing how so many of our people don't realize how so easily we fall for the okie doke of trying and seeking and desiring white validation. Mm-hmm. See, w- see, when somebody says, yeah, man, and, and, and I get it. I, I've had people say, this is what people have said. Uh, I really wish you were on a bigger platform. And I get that. I totally get it. I know the impact that I had on President Obama winning in 2008. I know. I know the impact I had on people who watched, who ordinarily did not watch politics. They have come up to me. People have said, I I ran for office because I watched you. I, 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 I now am an activist because of you. I get all of that. But I then need people to go deeper by saying, okay, so how was that platform built? Who created it? Who founded it? Where the resources come from? How are they able to get the capital to actually build it? How are they able to grow? The reason I had the advertising the conversation on yesterday with Ben, with ben Chavis is because that's actually how the institutions are built. What people don't realize is that in the cable business, In the cable business, you normally go to the cable companies and you negotiate with the cable companies for a subscription fee, five cents, 10 cents. ESPN had the highest where at one point they were getting damn near $7 because you had to carry all of these different networks. But here's what people didn't realize. When Rupert Murdoch launched Fox News, Rupert Murdoch wanted immediate mass distribution. So you know what he did? He paid the cable companies. He had enough money to say, okay, you know what? I'm not going to wait 10 years to go front to get to 100 million subscribers. I'm going to pay y'all. Roger Ailes builds it up, and then when they hit critical mass, they flipped it. Now y'all got to pay us, and they did. We don't have that position. So when people say, I really wish you could be on a bigger platform, my response is, this can be bigger. Mm -hmm. My response is, this can be larger. What would happen if all of a sudden I'm able to get $50 million a year in advertising from market, from agencies, and then from Mm -hmm. the federal government? Mm -hmm. That means I can then put up billboards. I can then run commercials. I can then do mass marketing. And so we probably would go from 260 million views like we did last year to 500 to 750 to a billion views. I'm gonna give you this one here, uh, Reese. Prager U. <laughs> Prager U got $7 million to launch from two white Republican billionaires in Texas. They raised $22 million their first year. They raised $25 million their second year. They had $47 million in a two year period. The New York Times does a big story on them, how they hit a billion views. When you get 47 million damn dollars, you can Mm. get to a billion views. Mm. And so our folks need to understand that we can build the exact same platforms as they can, but if we're frozen out of the money, we will never be able to do it. And then we will never be able to put folks like you on, and Erica on, and Dr. Carr on, and so many others who mainstream will never call because that's somebody white who is saying, ah, I don't really <laughs> like her tone. I think, she, I, I think she's too abrasive. I, I don't like Erica's glasses. You, you know what? I, I'm, I, 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 I can't put Dr. Carr on wearing a dashiki. I, 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 I can't do those things. That's the kind of stuff that's actually said in newsrooms nationwide. I 
absolutely. And the ironic part is that black people are the cultural trendsetters. We really push the envelope. We decide what's cool and what's not cool. And yet often we still take cues from that white validation. I mean, I hear it all the time too, Roland. Oh, you know, I love seeing you on Roland, but I, I wish you were on MSNBC. I wish you were on this. Or I wish you were on that. And I was like, I'm good where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not all about being on some white network and being filtered, not being paid, okay, for one, because most people on those shows of any race aren't even paid to be on there. And it's like, why Why does it have to be, um, uh, why does it have to be a, a status thing to be on a white network? I place more value on black media because that's really where you're getting the unfiltered truth, specifically Rolla Martin Unfiltered. And one of the things I mentioned um, on inauguration coverage, for instance, was I looked at the views that Rolla Martin Unfiltered got that day compared to BET or uh, these other as you call it, black targeted um, networks or, 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 or media outlets that aren't black owned, but they have black t black talent on the forefront. And Roland Martin Unfiltered was by far the biggest uh, number of views for a black audience. And so I think that black people, we have to realize our buying power. We have to realize our viewing power. We have to realize that we are the validators. We have to realize that when we validate our own stuff, that's when it grows and that's when other people get behind it. And it doesn't, it's, it shouldn't always be popular to get behind something that has white uh, capitalists behind it, you know, white investors. We could, we could build it ourselves. And that's what you've done. And I think the proof is in the pudding in terms of the cultural impact and political impact that black media and specifically Rolla Martin and Filtered has, but we have to be the ones to believe in, support financially, and validate our own things. If we don't, then we're going to continue trying to beg for scraps, being the lowest ranked people in these positions, never acceding to hire, um, you know, uh, CEOs or things like that, <clears throat> being filtered, being unpaid, and it, it, it's not, it's not, it's not moving the envelope forward. So we have the power to make the change. And we need to be the ones to do it. The thing. Oh, and the, oh, wait, one more thing I wanted yeah. to say though, too, is to black celebrities and to black, uh, you know, uh, tastemakers and things like that. You can validate these platforms as well. I see people all the time. Yay, Don Lemon. Don Lemon got on there, and I, it's no shade to Don Lemon. Oh, Don Lemon went off. Woohoo! Yes, black man. Okay, but that's every day on Roller Martin Unfiltered. But y'all don't share Roller yeah. Martin Unfiltered. And so you guys have to realize, too, okay, start validating the black stuff that keeps the real every single day, multiple times a day, instead of always rah-rah the people that have a little bit of spice every now and again to go viral on CNN <laughs> or MSNBC. And if you're promoting okay, a product, yeah. I see a lot of people when they're on their media tours and I look at the views they're getting on other channels or interviews, and it ain't nothing compared to what they're getting from Roller Martin and Filter. So if you want to, it's in your own best interest to help promote something that is actually going to promote you, that's going to give you 10 minutes, 15 minutes, un, uh, you know, uninterrupted speaking time to promote your causes. That's just common sense. Every single night. We've got some of the top black experts. You're not going to see them on cable news or broadcast news because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis. That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honore, the nation's first black surgeon general, Dr. Jocelyn Elders, John Hope Bryant, he is the founder of Operation Hope, Senator Kamala Harris of California, Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin, Congresswoman Karen Bass, Commissioner Omari Hardy, Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams, Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens, Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, Howard University student, Pastor Jamal Bryant, a uh, doctor, uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression in America. Four stars, uh, General Kit Ward, Dr. Oliver Brooks, is president of the National Medical Association, the president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris, Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist, Dr. George is Benjamin, uh, executive director of the Ameri American Public Health Association, Malcolm Nance, family medicine physician Dr. Jen Caudill, Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist, Kat Stafford. She's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.I. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard 
University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York. William Spring, AFL-CIO economist. Uh, Andrea James, executive director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Anne Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State Attorney Aisha Braidboy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division strategist. Uh, Dr. Cindy Duke, uh, she is a virologist, Principal Steve Perry of Capital Prep. Health and wellness specialist Dr. Yolandra Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co-founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, the Mina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Hand, Dr. Julian Malvo, economist president, Emerita of Bennett College, Coroner Michael Fowler, is a mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, mental health therapist, Suzette Clark, Justin Gibney, attorney and political strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews, Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and executive director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugo, president-elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, Mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware, safe, protected from coronavirus. You're getting the top medical experts, the top business experts, the top political experts, the top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.